Hi everyone, welcome to Winkworth Arboretum in Surrey, in Godalming. For those of you that are new, or for those of you who have seen sort of footage before like this, what I do is I look to tell you if it's worthwhile to take a trip here. How do I define if it's worthwhile? I look at seasonality, I look at the time it takes you to actually get here and the time when you're here. I look at the essentials and the variety of the essentials from kids' play areas to coffee shops. And of course I look at the price. So I'm going to show you some footage of Winkworth Arboretum. The goal isn't to give you an entire trip around Winkworth Arboretum. And then from there you can see if it's worthwhile. So come with me now, let's go and take a look. I wonder if you can guess what season we're in. <laughs> uh, it's actually Halloween today. So um, this is the busiest time of year for Winkworth Arboretum. You need to pre-book. Uh, and the photographers are everywhere, um, at every single corner. So it's not overly busy, you can still walk around. Hey. So what about the seasonality at Winkworth? As you can tell from the falling leaves, we are in autumn. Autumn is the busiest by far time of year for Winkworth Arboretum. Busy means you're gonna to struggle to get in unless you pre-book. It's one of the national trusts where you do need to pre-book or they'll turn you away from the car park and the venue. It's great in the summer, it's the best in the autumn, and it's very nice, you can see images anyway, and I can get you footage later of snowy season if it does snow. In the rain, it's very boggy, it's very hard to get round, and if you get the right season, but it is somewhere impacted by season, bear that in mind when you pay and we'll come to the price at the end, and bear that in mind when you consider everything, like the essentials, and we'll get to that. Food for thought. I actually don't need that. If you're lucky, you might even see the little boat in the lake, which I think departs from the boathouse which I'm going to show you very, very soon. Sometimes you will get troublemakers. Okay, I'm taking a wide berth. I know this is your land. So what about the time it takes to get here versus the time you actually get at the location? So Winkworth's one of those places where what you see is what you get. So you're not going to go off to a mill or a museum on the location. You're not going to go into a house which is common with National Trust properties. You're probably gonna get somewhere in the region of about two hours, maybe two and a half hours. So the walk itself, depending on your speed, your family speed, um, and any other factors, accessibility, etc., will probably take you around two hours max. But it is not a National Trust or an RHS facility where you're gonna be here for four hours or three hours. So my rule is if you jump in the car, it took you 90 minutes to get here, you'd wanna really see twice that, which is three hours. Probably not a wink worth. It doesn't mean it's bad, it just means time is not uh, something you can sink in. On the left hand side, you've got the jungle. And on the right hand side, you've got the contrast to the jungle, the lake. Look at that reflection. Look at that reflection. For those of you who have seen Willy Wonka, it does look a bit like the Chocolate River. So what about the essentials? What about the variety of the essentials? So we've got a coffee shop and a toilet at the top of Winkworth and a boathouse at the bottom. But the majority of this is a walker's delight and somewhere to take pictures. So bear that in mind if you're bringing just yourself along or a group along, especially with children. There's some stuff at the top for children, but it is very limited. This is the place to come if you love the seasons and they and how they change if you love walking and you love taking pictures if you don't like going uphill and considering you're going to have to go downhill to get the best part the view everything you see advertised although there's no elevator up so you've got to go up and as you can tell it's a bit of a climb Um, yeah, it's a really beautiful place. It is honestly uh, not just one of those places they picture and it just looks good from the image. Why wouldn't the ghost dance at the party? You had nobody to dance with. No idea. Leaf washing line. Very nice. <laughs> In regards to essentials, there's literally a fort 
So I asked the lady to record me going down there, but she said you shouldn't really be on there in the first place. So, so what about the price? So it's £12 for an adult, excluding gift aid, £6 for a child, excluding gift aid, and a family ticket is £30, excluding gift aid. So it's up to you. It's up to your collection of people you bring along. Um, it's not as expensive as other places in Surrey, but there's not as many essentials as you found from the footage earlier on. I'm going to talk about my conclusion of the trip here at Winkworth Arboretum next, but hopefully um, that gives you a good idea of sort of the value proposition with all things considered. Dogs are chasing swans. So Winkworth Arboretum in the autumn is an easy yes, right? Um, that's why it's so popular. Just bear in mind seasonality plays a part. So if you're out of the autumn, that might be a factor. And also if you really do need a variety of essentials and amenities, that might be a factor. But overall, it's a very popular place for a reason. Um, and at £12 for an adult, £6 for a child and 30 for a family ticket, it's especially relative to Surrey properties and locations, it's very, very, very good value. So I hope that's helped. Um, as the bird sings, let me know if there's anything you would like to see in the future and I'll cover it. But um, hopefully before you set off, you get a lot of value from this. Thanks.